Good morning. I think I've just about made sunrise. Nothing quite like an early morning swim to wake you up. The uh, scuba diving liveaboard a few days ago, I was in the water by, what, 7.15? It's not even 6.30 yet, I'm already in the lake. So, second day and today we're going to the Klong Yi Sanctuary for more wildlife spotting. Let's see if we're as lucky today as we were yesterday. The boat stopped ahead, so maybe they found something. Big pigtail? Pigtail. Ah, okay. It's a pigtail macaque monkey. I always seem to find my cocks at breakfast. So these pigtail macaques live in groups and they've got a quite a complex social structure which obviously involves quite a bit of monkeying around as well. But getting serious just for a moment they're also a vulnerable species, not just because of the loss of their forest habitat, but they're also used in biomedical research laboratories. So it's really great to see places like this, Khao So Klong Yi, here in Thailand, where they and their homes are protected. There's really nothing like seeing animals in the wild. Like You can tell how happy, how healthy they are, so it's really great to see. So this here is Ming Lung, which means one in Thai, and he's off on holiday from school, so he's decided to come and be my second guide. I see two, are there more than two? These guys are a different kind of monkey to the macaques we saw earlier. They're called spectacle or dusky langurs, uh, you will see from their faces. And uh, there were actually four of them in the shot just now. So if you manage to spot them all or rewind and have a look, uh, let me know down in the comments below that you've seen them all. And now we're getting into Klong Yi itself. Klong is a waterway in Thai. And there's definitely tons of wildlife around here. Like we can hear them like birds, it's gibbon, it's just really hard to spot. We've obviously got to be really quiet, not to disturb the wildlife, so even now we're trying not to use the boat engine. And we've come to the end of the waterway, so we're going to turn back and see what we can find on the way back. And just as we're coming back to the Chrysan Raft House, we come across this group of wild boars. Ah, oh, babies. And we're back at the Chrysan Raft Houses where I was staying last night. And it is definitely time for some breakfast because I am starving. So we didn't see that much more wildlife this morning, mainly monkeys, a few birds and some wild boar. But it doesn't matter, I saw plenty yesterday. Uh, in hindsight, maybe should have just gotten up off to the boat a little bit quicker this morning. But hey, c'est la vie. Had some breakfast, packed up, and now we're off to go for a hike to a viewpoint. Let's go. We haven't even gone anywhere yet and I'm already covered in sweat so hopefully once the boat moves there'll be a little bit of breeze. Ah oh, breeze. It was really nice being on the boat for the breeze. Now we've got to walk and I don't think there's going to be any breeze around here in the tropical rainforest. Oh no. Where are we going today? Where are we going today? Viewpoint. We're going to the viewpoint. Yeah. We're gonna hike in the viewpoint. 1.5 kilometers. Woo! Let's go! Bye! Go! In Thai, Bai Lui. Bai Lui. Bai Gan. Let's go! <laughs> they made it for. For people. Season. Ah, okay.
this here behind me is a banyan tree or fig tree which is a parasite so uh, it used to be a tree right in the middle there but now it's hollow because the banyan tree has taken it over and the inside original host tree is gone um, the fruit from rattan palm tree rattan palm tree yes yes uh, quite sour mm. edible edible yeah yeah but they have a stone seed inside mm. <laughs> Sour. We're just relaxing here for a little bit, waiting for the big group so we don't clash too much with the big group. I'm just gonna play around on these vines. <laughs> And we're off the final climb into the top viewpoint. Let's go. Definitely worth the climb, but also I think it's just really nice having some breeze for once, nice and cooling. The only thing that would make this even more perfect if somebody were here selling or giving me ice cold coconut water. We're just here listening to sounds of gibbons calling each other down there. I guess we're quite far away from them, but we can hear them quite clearly. It's very peaceful here, even with the sounds of the gibbons, birds, cicadas. The only thing not so peaceful are these bees <laughs> or wasps or whatever they are. Okay. Time to make our way down and hopefully down there there'll be somewhere to cool down in a lagoon or also some lunch would be great. See you at the bus. We're back at the boat. That's felt a lot longer coming back down than going up, which is strange, but uh, probably because of the heat and we're feeling tired now. But we're back at the boat, which means lunch is served. Uh, so happy. Curry. Curry for lunch. Yes. Well, that was my second day of the tour in the Chowlan Lake, which is an absolutely incredible place. It's in the Khao Suk National Park. And uh, nowadays, I guess in Thailand, it's really hard to find somewhere where few people know about it, uh, relatively unknown, so you're not battling with tons of crowds. But there in Chowlan Lake and the Khao Suk National Park, that is definitely the place to be. So guys, please do check it out because it is a really special place. This video was actually of the second day. Uh, on the first day, yesterday, we were, went to wildlife spotting and if nothing else, check it out for the four wild elephants that we found just chilling out on the lake. So many parts of the lake, we felt like we had the entire place to ourselves, uh, which is a big difference to some of the bigger tourist destinations in Thailand. Well, hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, it really helped me out if you click the like button down below. And also do come and follow me on my unusual adventures around the world. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button and subscribing to my channel. I also really love when people tell me what they thought of my videos. So please also, if you could, leave me a comment in the comments section. Well, that's it guys, and I will see you next time in the next video.